everybody. We're out here with the Parrot Bebop 2 at one of my absolute favorite places to fly. It's very, very humid today, uh, but it is a little bit gusty as well. So it's uh, a little bit more um, bearable. The purpose of today's video is I wanna show you some of the cool stuff you can do with the Parrot Bebop 2 and the flight plan feature. So we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna get right into it right about now. Okay, so I initiated the flight plan here and the Bebop 2 started executing it right away. I did do some color grading to the footage. So you just saw us go from untouched video to the graded footage. We're doing about a four minute flight today and I have the Free Flight Pro app on screen showing you the flight plan. You can follow the drone's progression through each waypoint from here and you can also switch to the live camera view and we'll see that shortly. Now, I did a full step-by-step -step tutorial on setting up waypoints. I'll put a card up now so if you're interested, check it out. So I set up this flight plan at home and I'm fairly familiar with this location because I've flown here on a few occasions. And I actually recommend doing flight plans in locations that you've already flown and that you're familiar with just to make sure you know where all of the potential obstacles and hazards may be. As a matter of fact, I actually flew to one particular spot prior to initiating the flight plan because there's a fairly tall tower right about there and I wanted to make sure none of the waypoints were near it. We're coming up on our first point of interest here. There's a total of three in this flight. Such a nice shot here. And you could definitely get this shot manually, but there is a level of difficulty to it. That's one of the great things about flight plans. They make difficult shots easy to get. Now, if you notice in the lower left-hand corner in the app, you see the red there, that's because I wasn't pointing the controller in the direction of the drone, and that's something to constantly stay cognizant of while engaged in a flight plan. That can cause you to have dropouts or lose signal altogether. So happy with the kinds of shots you can get with this thing, man. Okay, now you saw there that I had a brief dropout, but I got the signal back pretty quick. That's why it's important to keep that controller facing the drone. And that's another great thing about flight plans. Even if you lose connection, the Bebop 2 will complete the plan. On the other hand, it could be disastrous because you have to make sure you have enough battery to finish the plan because the Bebop 2 won't return to home on low voltage just doesn't have that fail safe and I mentioned that in my uh, full review. A surefire way to lose your drone is to create a long flight plan and run out of battery. I say always err on the conservative side. Start with short plans and work your way up to longer ones. I like to stick to five to ten minute plans on a full battery. Now there are several things to consider and I cover them in the tutorial I mentioned earlier but I'll give you three key things to consider before launching a flight plan. Number one, identify height and location of obstacles, either from flying the area or visible observation. Number two, make sure you have GPS lock on both the controller and the drone before taking off. And number three, make sure you have enough battery life to complete the plan. If you do those things, you shouldn't ever have a problem. Here's our next point of interest. Isn't that just beautiful? And now this is the last leg of the flight and the last point of interest is the reservoir out there. Look at those clouds, man. It just looks really, really cool. All right, we're coming to the end here. I had a fantastic time doing this. So with all of the great drones we see being released in the summer of 2018, including the Parrot Anafi, is the Bebop 2 still worth it to own? I say absolutely yes. And I've seen them priced as low as $299. Mm -hmm. 
Right now they're going for about 349, but you might catch that 299 price again. I'm actually putting together another Parrot Bebop 2 video and between this one and that one, I'm making the case that the Bebop 2 can do 90% of what the Anafi can do. All right, now I'm not an idiot. I know that that 10% that the Anafi can do is significant. It really places the Anafi well above the Parrot Bebop 2. But if you want a great drone for half the price, I think the Bebop 2 is a good choice. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Until next time, God bless you, be good to somebody, and be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Later.